So today in this class we discuss about the V lookup. How can you use the V lookup? V lookup stands for vertical lookup. So you have the data with unique ID in the vertical form and you want to find some details according to your unique ID. We need we use the V lookup. Just like we have the data, this is the sales data, right? And we have a lot of the data. And I want to some information about some particular ID. How can do it? So if you not use the VLOOKUP, then need to find and copy paste like that. You go to the data, search your numbers. Search your numbers and copy the data and paste in your lookup sheet. But problem that we have lot of the ID and this ID are some in trouble will change. So every time we have to copy paste and this is a fully done uh, manual, not automated. So I want to apply the formula quickly and when you change my ID, my formula change the result automatically. So that time we use the VLOOKUP. So VLOOKUP. Apply the VLOOKUP formula and first is the lookup value. The lookup value, it means which ID you want to search in data. So select the ID and table. You can select the data from the, your ID column. Remember, every time select your table from the, your ID column because VLOOKUP leftmost, give the data leftmost or rightmost and give the column number so one time you can uh, you can see the one uh, one data so that time we have used the column next number so i want to date the date is the two column one and two so give the number two and comma zero otherwise also give the false because zero it means Exact match zero is false, it means exact match. You can also use the false, you can also use the zero. So, we're gonna got the date now. We want to order value, then apply the VLOOKUP, select the lookup value, go to the data, select the data, and apply here one, two, three, okay. three, comma, zero. And also want to drag, but before the drag, you have need to uh, apply the dollar symbol from your reference. Now I have drag. But problem is that we have not changed the my column index number. So every need to every formula change the your column. It's like four. It's like five, six, like that. But this is the problem. If you have the 30 to 40 column, so every time you need to change, it's a very difficult job. So how can solve this problem and apply the formula without changing one by one your column next number? Right, so we have the lot of uh, lot of example. I give the one and two example for that. So for that, first you have insert the one row top of the, your data and put the column number, which column number you have insert in the VLOOKUP, right? Correct. Now, one, two, three. Okay. Yeah. VLOOKUP. Here we look up, select the lookup value, go to the data, select the data, and you have not entered the manual number, you have select the your reference which they enter your sequence top of the data. The comma zero for exact man. And we have again repeat. We look up, select the lookup value, go to the data. Select your data and you will not enter the column index number manually. Go to the, your lookup sheet and select the other your topmost uh, column heading, your sequence, which sequence we have entered, 
and comma zero. Now, sorry, uh, this. Uh, so now we have drag, but before the dragging, you have apply the dollar symbol freeze your absolute your reference. Now you have drag. You got the result. But problem like for one thing more. Uh, last last class we discussed about the column formula. So you have the column formula in the Excel, column formula in the Excel, and column formula give the column number. Which column you selected? Just like I have selected the date call, date here in the data, give the two. And in for the VLOOKUP, we require also two. So that time we have used the VLOOKUP with column formula. So go to the data, select the data, comma, column index number. And for the column index number, apply the column formula, select the column, comma, zero, and press the enter. You can see. And now we have applied the dollar sign. And drag it. Okay. Okay. But you have know about the your column index number properly, then you can enter the column number directly in the one formula so we have applied a vlookup with array so what is the array just like i want to sequence number here 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 right but you have applied also this sequence 1 comma 2 3 4 and put the curly bracket press the press the enter you can see the record so you have typed the one by one and you can also type in the error form in the one cell and you sequence distribute as you sequentially. So this method we have used in the VLOOKUP. Apply the VLOOKUP, select here, go to the data, select the data and in the curly bracket we have put 2 comma 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 and put a close the curly bracket give the zero for exact match press the enter you can see one formula you have give the origin no need to drag and freeze press the enter you got the result we again repeat it we apply the yeah this number. one is better huh uh, yeah, we look up, select here, and go to the data. In the curly bracket, we give the scores number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Press the enter, comma, got the result. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. The last one is the best one. Is the latest update one? Yeah, but uh, in the latest Excel, we have also one formula X lookup. X lookup is also better than. How can? So your okay. data sequence, which we are want to we are into records and where your data heading sequence will be same. Both of the heading sequence will be same. That time we have applied the X lookup form. X lookup. Select the lookup value and go to the data. And here you have just select your ID column, not a all data, just ID column. And now you will select the result column, which result you want to. So press the enter, you got the result. 
now need to drag so before the drag we have just apply the dollar symbol and freeze the your id color not on and keep the uh, freeze of your return array it means which which column result you want to show press the enter now you have drag here you can see every record you have find out because when you drag column reference will be changed this is a b and b by b this is a c by c change this is a d by d change e by e change f by f okay okay but the problem is that ki my column sequence is not a sequentially. Just like we have a one to John quantity shows circuit key and so order. And this sequence is not a sequentially. Or maybe change. So how can I look up? Ki look up look up my data according uh, the column heading. So column heading is spelling same like data column heading. So that time we have used the formula match match formula to give the result so search the cell value in the one column and row and if you match then give the column index a row index no number let us select the zone and search in the index index will be searched here and give the result as a 13 13 is the sequence number so match formula search in the row number one and we found the zone so count the zone sequence zone is the 13 number sequence so so yeah and we look up also on to column number and match the column give the column number so that time we have merged the we look up with match we look up here select here put the 13 comma zero but we have uh, I have entered the 13th number in the manually, but copy the your match formula and paste here. Paste over the 30. So we have merge the VLOOKUP with match, but before the drawing, need to freeze your reference. Now we have copy paste. Now your data, your report your data will come from with the your heading. Just, just like we have changed the profit. Profit. Press the enter. You got the result. Profit. Okay. So when you when your heading will be changed. Your data will also change. So we uh, learned the three formula: V lookup, match, or X lookup, right? Yes, match, now, X lookup, and okay. Now we have my my data will be changed. So uh, for V lookup, data in the vertical form, top to bottom, but my data changed to left to right. So now I want to check the zone of 106 ID. But problem is that VLOOKUP is not apply here. Because VLOOKUP take the look up the data in the vertical form. But now is the horizontal form. Then apply the H lookup formula. H lookup formula. Like a VLOOKUP. But, uh, but uh, select the data vertically, not horizontally. Select the data only for horizontally. So we have select the data horizontally and give the row index number, not a column index number. The row index number is seven, 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 zero. You got the result. But we have the latest you, result. you can also apply the X lookup formula. X lookup formula also look up the value horizontal and vertical. To look up value. Select the ID and select the your return ad. Press the enter, you got the result. Okay? Okay, okay. Is it clear? Clear.
So now you have to do the practice because VLOOKUP is the complicated topic. So please do the practice. 